This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's ZapDoxTCG here and welcome back to the RTCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with Lapras, VMAX and Frostmoth. This is a popular archetype and uh, the reason that I'm only making this now is that I finally got myself Lapras VMAX. So I, I just tried to focus on the tier 1 archetypes. This is actually a very great deck, I think it's tier 3 for now because the Aqua Bucket only comes out in May. So that may help out the archetype. But for now, we have Lapras VMAX and we try to make it as consistent as possible. We want to use G Max Pump. We dish out 90 damage plus 30 more for every water energy attached to Lapras VMAX. I know we're uh, weak to Lightning, but uh, yeah, against Picaram, we'll just take the L here because uh, it's a very hard matchup uh, to say the least. But against other matchups, we have a great uh, win condition here. We can, of course, uh, have this Frost Mod up as, uh, as early as our second turn. And then with the Ice Dance, we can accelerate as many water energies that we have in the hand to our one of our bench water type Pokemon. So uh, we have some attackers here. We have Lapras, the regular one. The V can smack 210 damage, which is not too bad. We also put two water energies back in the hand. So even if it goes down, we save those energies. We have a uh, Volcanion Prism Star. This is a, a great way to just use Jet Geyser. That's uh, the reason why we're also not in, uh, in need for Fion in this archetype because Jet Geyser can put energies into this card pile and then the opponent has to switch out. Sonal Blast also dishes out 100 damage and then 20 to every one of the opponent's bench Pokemon. In combination with things like uh, the Towering Splash GX, I know we need 8 energies to uh, smack 100 damage to all of the opponent's bench Pokemon. That's insane. If the opponent is not running a Mew, they will definitely feel that. Definitely if we consider the fact that we can use the GX move twice. With Misty and Lorelei, if we discard five cards from the hand, this uh, Waylord and Magikarp can use it the attack twice. And that's mean, that means 200 damage across the opponent's board. And that is also a win condition. If the opponent has like a, a two Dedenis or something on the bench or maybe weak Jirachis, that's fantastic uh, to say the least. We can always use Jet Geyser to put uh, an opponent uh, back to the bench, uh, one of the weaker Pokemon. So there, all the weakest Pokemon are on the bench. That's going to be a winning condition right here. That's also the reason why we're not relying on uh, Palkia GX. We want to make it as consistent as possible with uh, four snow. Uh, we also have two uh, Lapras VMAX and the good thing is that we can get everything out with Evolution Incense. So getting that Frost Mod, uh, getting that Lapras VMAX, that's going to be fantastic. We also have a heavy amount of the Dene. There's 13 Water Energies. Even with the combination of three Energy Retrievals, we have lots of Water Energies to, uh, which we can uh, flood to the board. In combination with Viridian Forest, that's going to be fantastic. Getting, of course, the second turn amazing one-hit KO with G-Max Pump. We, of course, also have uh, Air Balloons. I'm glad you asked why we're not running switches. The Air Balloons will help out with the Dawn Wings and the Crozma. Sometimes the opponent might, of course, uh, have things like an Absol, but don't, don't worry about that too much. Just manually attach to the Dawn Wings so you can still have the free retreat, technically. And with the other water energies, we can accelerate them uh, with uh, Frost Mod. So don't worry about that at all. Three Air Balloons seems to be uh, a nice thing here. And then to go uh, with full consistency, we have four Acrobike, four Cynthia, and four Research. That is the list for today. So uh, with a couple of uh, quick balls and the Dedenis, Hopefully we won't be able to uh, brick. We also have one copy of Reset Stamp thrown in there because if you plan Reset Stamp at the correct time and smack the opponent with a Lapras VMAX, sometimes they don't have an answer and uh, they cannot one-hit KO us while we take multiple prize cards. Okay, are you guys ready for Lapras VMAX? Can I promise you guys that we will win the matchups, but I'm going to try and showcase what the archetype is capable of. Hopefully we don't come across a couple of Picaroms, otherwise we will be crying in the corner <laughs> because that is a very bad matchup. We're up against Fire. Okay, I did not mention this here because uh, yeah, I was talking about the deck in general, but against certain archetypes, we smack weakness. Think about Macargo, think about Rashizar. So uh, these are uh, great things. We're gonna go first because we are a setup deck. We want to get us a uh, Frostmoth out as quickly as possible. Uh, we start with a Lapras V. That is fine as it is. Uh, that is our main attacker. So uh, the bad thing is that we also need Dong with the Crozma because we're ah, oh, this Mew. You don't want to see this Mew. Don't want to see that at all. We're going to get out Viridian Forest and uh, we're actually going to manually attach to this Lapras and going to go for the uh, pass. We can also go for the uh, Viridian Forest to thin out the deck a little bit, but it is what it is. We did not find Quick Ball. We did not find Snom, even though we play four and four of those. Uh, yeah. Do we use Viridian Forest? That is the main question. Might as well use it since we do run lots of energy retrievals. There's one in the hand. I know that, but it is what it is. Then out the deck, we have Dawn Wings and Crozma in here. So if we knock out the Mew, 
This uh, Darwin's, uh, if you knock out the Mew, this Magikarp and Willard can come and clutch together with Volcanion to sweep a bar a lot of these Pokemon down. I think this is going to be Baby Blast, but I'm not sure just yet. Okay, let's go. We have a research. We should have checked if we had enough energy retrievals, but yeah, we are definitely gonna last through the game because uh, we have lots of ways to do that. Hopefully, we can get, of course, this attack off. Darwin's Necrozma is in the list. Okay, Heat Factory is already popping up. He's not using Arboridian Force, he's just drawing cards. And he's probably playing Baby Blacephalon. You might think that we have an advantage here, but the bad thing is he's playing the Mew. So uh, using our Magikarp Wailord strategy is gonna be harder than you think. Also, if we go into the V Max, he takes three prize cards for that. So I don't know if it's too uh, crazy to get the V Max out in this situation. Although getting so much HP does help out. We'll see what we're gonna have. Okay, there's already one Blown there. We can immediately uh, target it to the active position with the uh, Volcanion Prism Star. We don't see any Jirachi, maybe he has uh, Fiery Flint and Wilder already in hand. Maybe he uh, is not using them because uh, he knows that we have... Okay, probably gonna retreat. Okay, Blown is in the active. Can we one hit KO that? We need Frost Moth and that's not gonna happen uh, on this turn. Because we need one turn to evolve, so this is not looking good. Okay, Wilder. He's just setting up this Blissafalon. Pretty scary. Okay, Acrobike. Also want to target down this Mew here because uh, I don't want to see that. Probably gonna go for... Okay, he has Lucky Egg. Hopefully he does not smack down a Jirachi. Okay, he has Cremorant. Oh, this all, this guy can snipe 160 damage. And it uh, looks like this is just uh, Baby Blossephalon with Jirachi and the Lucky Axe. We already got used to this archetype and uh, we already checked it out on the channel. So Blazer. Okay. It's not a Fire Energy, only 10 damage. But it is relevant though because now he only needs 4 energies in the hand. So this is sad, very very sad. Okay, what to do about this? We're gonna go for heavy research. Ta-ta! What can we get? We have a quick ball, so we can leave him stuck in the active if he doesn't have a switch card. Maybe that's a, is a good option, but I think getting out our snump is probably better. Maybe we can get out the Dene. Yeah, probably gonna get out the Dene here. I know we have lots of supporters in the hand, but this is not looking good. Frostmod as well, really? Uh, dang it. Dang it, this is not looking good. So uh, we are already in a disadvantage because the opponent is targeting our uh, stuff down. We have the Jet Geyser right here. Actually gonna use it here. I wonder what he's gonna drag into the active position. He still needs a Welder or a Switch card in order to do something. And uh, we have the attack. Attach a Water Energy from your hands to one of your Pokemon if you do, okay. I think I'm gonna go for the Lapras VMAX. I know he takes three prize cards for that, but he still needs to get a bazillion amount of energies in the hand in order to one-shot us. So we have a second turn with Lapras. We already got rid of like all of our supporters, so that's not good. We're definitely gonna have to rely on another Dedene, which is not good. But I want it to be uh, aggressive as possible. Maybe we can uh, get our Magikarp and Wailord up. But he gets three prize cards, and uh, in this scenario, we're way too slow, we uh, didn't get our first turn snom, so this archetype still kind of clunky to say the least, although we tried to make it as consistent as possible. Sometimes the opponent has everything. Energy retrieval, will he have a switch card? Or is he just gonna bench, uh, or actually wait it out? Does he have another welder? Is he able to one hit KO this Lapras VMAX on uh, his uh, third turn, I believe? Switch card, okay, we are already done for. If we don't drop the top deck a quick ball, we, it's over. We can KO with Volcanion though, but the bad news is that, uh, oh yeah, he did not one hit KO us, so the Lapras does survive. Awesome, so we have Radiant Forest. We're uh, not gonna get him extra cards, so we're gonna smack down Radiant Forest. Ta-ta! Gonna give one energy over there. We can still use uh, the um, Jet Geyser can also thin out the deck now that I think about it because we need to draw into some kind of a quick ball here. Gonna get rid of this. Gonna get the energy. How many quick balls? Two of them. Okay, <laughs> Lapras uh, is gonna have to take this prize card and hopefully we draw the Dene from the prize cards. As you can see, that's a lot of damage. He does get the Lucky Act activated, unfortunately. Could have also used the um, effect, but that's also dangerous. We'll see what he does now. Lapras taking the prize card. He has. 110 HP left, so he still needs 3 energies. 
This Cramorant can discard all energies. This attack does 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So if he has a Welder, this Cramorant can one hit KO us. And that's probably gonna be game unless we draw our last Cynthia. So maybe going so aggressively with the Dene was not the best idea. We also have Reset Stamp, so maybe we draw that. So getting Lapras out was not hard. Getting a Frost Mod out, well, that's a whole different story. We whiff on our Quick Balls, whiff on our Snomps. What is this? What is the opponent gonna do? He has a hand of eight cards. He has Ordinary Rod, okay. That gets him back a Blown and an Energy. Two energies, okay, fine. Will we be able to one-hit KO this guy? We have 90 damage right now. We're dishing out 180. So with one attachment, we one-hit KO this Cramorant. If he whips on the Welder, that's fantastic. Maybe he doesn't have a Rokorio. Maybe it's priced. He's gonna go for an energy, okay. Ultra Space, getting probably uh, the Blacephalon out. Maybe he's thinning out his hand. I wonder, I wonder. It's still pretty scary the situation because we don't have frost mod don't have any balloons don't have dawn wings all of our supporters are gone still have acrobikes come on with your welder and we will be good Placephalon GX is he gonna go for the burst bursting burn switch attach bursting burn that is an option okay a retreat Okay, he's just gonna go for beat catch. So this uh, means he whiffed the welder, which is fantastic for us. Maybe we find, yeah, we don't need, don't need the reset stamp just yet. Although we have like bazillion energies in the discard pile. Maybe finding some retrievals would be nice. We also got two prize cards for this scrammer. Okay, the last Cynthia just pops out of the deck like crazy. So uh, we're already smacking 180 damage. So with one attachment of the turn, we're there. So for now, we're gonna go for a good old Cynthia. The last Cynthia, can, can you believe that? TCGO finally treats me well. Okay, we have the uh, another Snum, we have Magic Carp and Whaler. Just gonna check in my deck a little bit. Yeah, Frostmod is in there, Evolution and Sans is in there. We have two energies left. How many energy retrievals? One. Ooh, this is pretty scary. Pretty scary indeed. That Mew definitely uh, stops us uh, with our strategy. Okay, we have a Balloon. So for now, I think he's definitely gonna go after that. So I think I'm gonna go with Dawn Wings this right there an acrobike again evolution incense okay great catcher is also nice great catcher can target blacephalon gx so we get another two prize cards an evolution incense gets us the frost mod but we don't have energies either way so i think i'm gonna grab myself we do get two prize cards right two prize cards. i think i'm gonna go for great catcher maybe that is our only win condition at this point and here we go, G Max Pump, boom! Lapras on fire, we got two prize cards. The Great Catcher is nice because that means we just need to KO one little Pokemon and then Blacephalon GX can also get, oh, the Dene, welcome addition. And a Water Energy, okay, fantastic. That means our little Canyon Prism Star can uh, eat this Blacephalon alive. It's as a one prizer. Since we have the Dene, we're, uh, we'll most likely find another Evolution Incense or Frost Mod, which is fantastic in our case. In his scenario, he still needs to take six prize cards, so in the prize race wise, we're doing fine, even though I never expected Lapras to do this well. <laughs> Definitely against a one prize deck. The good news is he just uh, whiffed that little welder that happens from time to time. We do see Fion. Is he gonna use Fion? Then I'm just gladly giving up my the Dene because, uh, you yeah, know, reset stamp to tree. Maybe we get a quick ball. Maybe we just get the Dene in the opening hand, okay. If he knocks us out, reset stamp the Dene, that's where we're at. So have, relying on having the Dene is nice. The good news is that this Lapras had a bazillion amount of HP, which meant he needed way too much energies. And if he whiffs things like Fiery Flint, that it's over with. We already know what this archetype is able, of, able to do. Like in a scenario like this, let's say he does not have the Mew. Magikarp and Whaler could actually kill a lot of these weak Pokemon, like uh, the Jirachi, the Fion. So, yeah. All the energies go back. I think there's an energy retrieval still priced, which might can, uh, come to bite us in the you-know-what. <laughs> Trade Fire Energy is back, Fire Crystal. Is he gonna take the prize? Of course. The good news is we saved that Great Catcher. I'm glad we did that. That's gonna be our win condition right here. Knocking out this Blown, knocking out this Blown. That's how we do it. Okay, here he goes. Welder. 
the good news is we have the Dawnwing, so we can promote whatever we please. We don't see Absol lying around there on the bench, which helps us out a ton. So a free retreat with Dawnwings is awesome. We have Frost Mod, we have full control. I uh, think, what do we promote? Probably the Dene at this point. He's switching out Jirachi. We don't see Aerocorio just yet, so uh, maybe it's priced. So that happens from time to time with this uh, kind of a list. Digging six cards deep in the deck. We don't have any supporters left and no acrobikes as well. So this Dani is gonna have to do it all. He's gonna have to get the energies, gonna have to get the frost mod, otherwise we're done for. Ta -ta. Okay, he gets three prize cards, finally knocking out the huge Lapras V Max. Okay, three prize cards, that's huge. It's like a tag team. Come on. What do we get? Frost mod. Evolution Ensigns, exactly, Frost Mod, that's what I told you. Frost Mod, how many energies? Three energies and two energy retrievals. Actually, one energy retrieval, okay. Scary, pretty scary. Let's smack this down. We're gonna stamp him, so he does not have a way to get all these energies in the hand. And now it's time. Here we go, to Danny for life. We have to get energies at this point. We get one energy, we get the Lorelei. Typically you would use this to get uh, the water energy, actually to uh, reuse your GX move, but for now I think we're just gonna use it to get 3 energies from the deck straightly to our hand. I forgot we had that supporter, so we have 3 energies, which is good. We have a retrieval. Alright, we did not get the great catcher though, which is bad, I wanted to target those Blacephalon GX first. Oh well, 2 energies, we still have quick balls, so we can still get a huge target in the active. We don't need another uh, balloon at this point. Ta -ta. Yeah, let's get the big Magikarp and Waylord. And at this point, we're also gonna use Quick Ball, so we might draw into whatever we please. Another Lapras. Yeah, at this point, Lapras, we only have three energy, so we have to go for the Volcanion at this point. Ta -ta. Ice Dance. Fantastic ability. We can uh, use as many ice dances as we want during our turn. So this guy powered up in one shot. We're using the invasion, sliding into the active position. We have free retreat. Also gonna shuffle the deck because we want to top deck our energy retrieval. Otherwise, we are gonna have so much trouble. And now we retreat, go with Volcanion. Hopefully we get our energy retrieval from the prize cards. <laughs> Otherwise it's game. But still nice showcasing of the Lapras VMAX deck. Come on, where is that? I had to guess here. <laughs> Vmax, no, 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 no. We only have two more energies left. Actually, uh, with the energy retrieval, so it's not gonna help out. I think this is game. We don't. We only have two energies left. There's nothing we can do. Can somebody attack with two energies? <laughs> Aurora Beam only smacking 30 damage. What? So yeah, if we had the Great Catcher, we would have dug, dug two prize cards from that, find the energy retrieval, and won the game. But no. It is not what uh, we deserve, apparently. How many switch cards in this discard pile? Two. Okay. It's probably gonna eat us up. And at this point, if he one shots us, hopefully he whips. He needs welder and a bazillion energies. At, in total, he needs six energies and a welder. So will he get what he wants? He has two fire crystals, two retrievals in the discard pile. Probably still has two fire crystals left. The deck still has 11 cards, three prize cards. He digs five deep with Stellar Wish. Will he get what he wants? It's a fire crystal. Ooh, and now I'm afraid. How many welders? Not a fire crystal? He will have welder in hand, probably. He only used one, so we are afraid. Officially. Welder. Hopefully he will not have enough energies. How many in the discard pile? Six. Okay, we're screwed. We are screwed. He's gonna retreat and get this over with. Okay. And even if we uh, gotten, ah, we needed another energy at this point. Maybe he doesn't have it? I think so. Three fire crystals in a discard pile, six energies. Whirlpool suction. Wow, we survive. We survive. We still have great catcher that we can top deck. I think uh, we can give up one prize card. Yeah, I think that's fine. Get get the frost mob. Do what you want. 
We're just gonna save our Volcanion until we chop deck. Great Catcher. This guy does have two retreat cost. I think Great Catcher is in a discard pile. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. He did not have enough energies. He only had two. Wow. Yeah, since we have Invasion, we always promote the Dene. Ta-ta. Okay. We have the Great Catcher from game, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. Showcasing you that if you believe anything can happen in a card game. Here we go. And now we use Invasion. Yeah, we won with the Lapras V Max deck. Insane. We had a little bit of luck on our side, but still. Not getting the energy retrieval from the prize cards was also bad. Let's try another game with Lapras V Max. We'll see uh, what opponent we come across next. Wow. Imagine that the opponent did not run the Mew. Then we could have used Waylord. Uh, ooh, this is uh, Lightning Dragon stuff. If I had to guess, it's ADP. We lost the coin flip. This is bad. And uh, that means the opponent will have the first attachment. We do have snobs this time around. Hooray for that. We actually have two of them. Might as well smack both of them down if he one-shots the, the first one. We have a Waylord in the bag. Then we smack it down, depending on the matchup. Waylord only smacks 180 damage, so that's not good. We need Lapras. Hopefully the Lapras VMAX will not be priced. Okay, ADP popping up. Ooh, scary. Scary indeed. Setting up a Vulcanian Prism Star would also be nice. Just so, uh, okay, he has the Fion. Okay, Interpret Sword. That's not a bad first turn, if I had to say. Okay, what to do? We have a Cynthia, I'm actually gonna... He has weak Pokemon on the bench, so might as well smack this down. He might have Great Catcher, but he's never gonna one hit KO this guy, so... I'm gonna give... We can use Cynthia, so we save Lapras VMAX. Maybe that's better. Maybe that is better. Yeah, saving that, you never know if it's priced. I'm gonna play a little bit more preservatively this time around. There we go. Energy. Probably just gonna go for... Yeah, do we leave it in the active? I don't think he's gonna go for an attack this turn. He needs two metal patches, actually metal saucers and an attachment of the turn. That's fine. We also wanna wait with evolution and sense. Maybe he's going to use something like uh, a Marnie. That means our uh, Frostmoth will be on the bottom of our deck, which is something you never want. Zation V, another one. Will he have a switch card? Will he have an Aurora Energy? Skateboard on this guy. Research, okay. Power Plant. Shutting down abilities from GXs. That means we cannot rely on uh, the Dene GX. Luckily for us, we do have two copies of Viridian Forest by our side. Will he be able to ADP on the second turn? Metal energy, oof, huge switch. He's just gonna leave this in the active, it's fine. Also two weak Pokemon on his bench. He could go for Fion, he doesn't do it. Just gonna go for Interpret Sword, fine as it is. We love that. Okay, we have another energy. We have a Lapras VMAX, ta-ta. We're gonna attach of the turn to the Lapras VMAX. We're gonna go for uh, evolution Incense, getting our uh, Frost Mod. Also gonna check three Dedanes in here. Volcanium Prism Star is also part of the squad. And two Viridian Forest. Eight energies. Eight energies with three, uh, two retrievals. We're gonna throw away one. So that's not why I needed to know. There's a lot of energies priced. Okay. Hopefully we'll be able to find some. Maybe Viridian Forest. Okay, Viridian Forest as well. We're gonna use that. Yeah. Now, I'm going to use Evolution Incense, getting another Lapras VMAX out of the deck. Could get another Frost Mod. Mm, yeah, I think another Frost Mod is fine. Maybe he Marnies it, and this time around we have two of them up and ready. Also gonna go for the Viridian Force, throw away one of these Laprases, getting one energy in the process. Gonna go for Acro Bike. Ta-ta! We get Quick Ball. Ooh. Dawnwings, Necrozma, or a Quick Ball. Quick Ball can get us... Hmm. The Volcanium Prism Star. Yeah, Quick Ball can get us the Volcanium Prism Star, but Dawnwings leaves us in the active position. I think at this point we don't need Dawnwings. I'm then gonna go for Quick Ball. Uh, yeah, we can rain two more energies onto our guys. That's not enough damage, <laughs> unfortunately. And this guy also will not be able to deal enough damage, so I think 
I'm just gonna put on a little bit of pressure which is Lapras smacking down yeah we only needed one smacking down this we're gonna try and two shot this guy also gonna rain one more energy on the other Lapras maybe on the Magikarp that could have also been fun Quick Ball is gonna be for later we retreat and we're gonna go for another one of the most powerful G Max Pump Poof. 180 damage with another energy, we smack 210. I know that's not enough, but if he uh, promotes like something like a Station V, he's not gonna get anywhere in the game. Melvin Lana, okay, he's healing off all that damage. Maybe, yeah, he has a skateboard, so the damage was irrelevant. The damage was irrelevant. Ooh. Now I wish I uh, smacked down that, uh, okay, Ultimate Raid, that's scary. Now I wish I would've smacked down that Dawn Wings. Now I'm in a nasty situation. We could manually retreat, find energy retrieval, get another Lapras VMAX on there. Uh, things are gonna get scary. Quick ball. Finding the Dene. Maybe that's better. Finding We have more researches in the, in, the, in the deck, so we can just go for Viridian Force, throwing away that. Getting an energy. Let's rain it on Lapras for now. Trying to set up another one. To Dene, maybe we manually retreat, find energy retrieval like that. Who knows? A balloon. Oof. It is a balloon. Acrobike. Okay, Lapras VMAX number two is here. Ta ta. Did not find a supporter. Maybe with the uh, Acrobike right there. Hmm. I'm actually gonna throw away. I'm gonna throw away the balloon for now. I'm gonna get this guy. Hopefully we get something nice from that acrobike. I'm actually hoping for it. Research, okay, the bad news is we had to throw away those uh, Volcanium Prism Star, but I'm fine with it. As long as we find a retrieval, I'm able to one-shot this Lapras. Uh, this, uh... <laughs> Boy, this is not working out, right? Evolution Incense, nothing. Okay, this time around, it's not working out. Ice Dance, one energy to the Lapras. Yeah, either way, we sacrifice this guy or uh, we just get him out of here. He does have means to get it down, but he does run custom, uh, Pokemon catchers and there seems to be already one in his discard pile. Oh, wow, I misplayed. We had energy retrieval. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. Only one though. I misplayed so hard. Oh well, here comes the G Max Pump. <laughs> Still not getting KO. I misplayed so hard with that. Could have gotten two energies uh, if we manually retreated, although, nah, could have not gotten into the active position. There was two less uh, energies in the, in the discard pile. Pokemon Catcher. Okay, he does get this guy. Metal Saucer. He was gonna get four prize cards with that. Insane. We do have Great Catcher, so we at least can take three prize cards on, on uh, that attack. Cynthia, I don't think we're gonna win this one, but I'm glad I was able to showcase a Lapras at least. We can uh, also one-shot this uh, ADP with a one prizer. Okay, he just manually retreats and goes for the offensive. Okay, fine. For now, I think we uh, should wait with our great catcher and just try and target down these guys. We already smacked three, four, 120. We need one energy. We have Viridian Forest, so it's fine. Okay, we don't even need Viridian Forest. Just gonna smack down one energy on this guy. Retreat. We don't have Reset Stamp anymore. Which is bad. I'm also not gonna deck a Sour Vile with uh, their Professor's Research. Here comes G-Max Pump. Now I just need to target the Pokemon with energies on them. Two prize cards, hooray! Hopefully he does not have a Pokemon catcher. If so, we are screwed. He's gonna eat up our Dedenne. He already used two, right? Three of them, okay, that's fine. Okay, he can use Fionn. Ooh, that is sad. He can use Fionn. Metal Saucer. Zacian is gonna smack our Pokemon down. Okay, cool. 
Now he needs to whiff on the Metal Saucer and we should be good. The Dene, too much Pokemon here, insane. We have still a lot of HP left. Don't need to waste any of these cards, although... Hmm... Not gonna smack down Brady Forest. Just gonna go for a good old G-Max pump and just pray for the best. Hopefully he whiffs. Just Lapras running through two Zations at once. That means the opponent will need a Metal Saucer at this point. And the uh, Jirachi also does not seem to have an escape board on it or a switch. Energy of the turn. Will he find his Metal Saucer? That is the question. Oh boy, Metal Saucer. Ooh, well played. Will he have a switch card? He has the escape board. So yeah, it was very close. So uh, look at that. Lapras just surviving so much hits. Does uh, scream for potential. We just need to wait for the Aqua Bucket coming out in May. But let me know what you think in the comment section about uh, yeah Lapras VMAX and Frostmod. I think it's a very fun deck to play with. Sometimes you brick with it a little bit. But if you can get it out on the second turn, it's very strong. Also weak against Pikaron, but it is what it is. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, destroy the like button. Subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.